hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today video i'm going to demonstrate how to add cisco iol image on eve and up and running the next slide i will explain you what are the steps and what all you need to do to you know up and running on your laptop so first you have to download the uh, linux image uh, which is uh, iOS is nothing but iOS on Linux. So once you are downloaded, uploaded the image to this ePath. So already uploaded that. So here you can see I already uploaded this image to this particular path using SFTP. Uh, SF, you can use WinSCP or you can use uh, FileZero or any FTP application and log into the uh, EVNG and then you can upload this on this path. Okay. Once it is uploaded, the next step is to uh, log into the Eve. In case uh, if you want to know like how to install the Eve up and running on your local laptop, you can refer my previous video. The next is, so LSI-L, I'm already, I'm going to this part slash opt lab add-ons. I will because it's an I will image. Then here you can see I already have the image the next is to uh, generate the uh, license and the license is based on your IP address and your host name so it generates the key so the license will be different for each and every one so to create that we need to create a script Py script Python script to generate the license with the combination of your host name and your host IP address so I already have this uh, script with me so I'll give this script to you guys in the description so you can use the script to generate the license okay and the file name you can give anything it's 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 up to you guys actually so i'm giving you a key gen because it's iol so i can give i will you key gen dot py so, so i'm going to buy then I have my Python script to generate this. Yeah, let me save it and also give a permission. So make sure that you are giving the permission to the file. Once it is done, again, okay, so I need to run the complete path. So it is already mentioned in the slide, you can see. So you have to run once it is given. So you have to, you know, run this script with the complete path. So slash out. So I can simply copy paste this. You can see. Let me give the full permission to the files in the folder. Space. Yes, as you can see, so based on my host name and my IP address, this particular license is created. So let me go to the path again. So this license file will be available on your path. Yes, you can see this. The file will be available. So once you have this script, so you have to create a file called IOURC. So I'm going to create it. It's okay. You can see the steps I've already mentioned in my slide too. Once you have the license file generated using this Python script, then you have to use a file name called IOURC. So then just simply copy paste these two lines only. That's it guys. Your license is ready now. I always use this because it's a lab environment my laptop chambering. So I always give the complete permission. So which help me from, you know, preventing the, uh, you know, denial. So let me fix the permission completely yes yes now it is completed 
so what I need to take the IP address so this is my IP address let me quickly open my browser with this IP so the username and password is admin as you can refer my video what is the username and password for the CLI and for the AVNG web URL so yes it's logging in so I'm gonna add a new lab name Cisco how are you so yes now you can right click you can there are two ways that you can do in the last video I was not able to demonstrate due to some issue this video like in like click anywhere on the uh, this web page and you can add a node or you can go here and add an object and then you can do it so I always prefer to use a node and and Cisco let me yeah here you can see high wall is already in the blue color remaining all in the gray so I was not able to select you can see that red mark which means these images are not available so I will explain you each and every image how to upload and how to you know up and running in my upcoming session on this series so let's select this I want to add two nodes interconnect to show you the connectivity yes here you can see my both the routers are up yes so I connected it 0 slash 0 interface and I can simply start here or you can go here more actions then start all the nodes it's as simple as that then click here then it will open your telnet session in case uh, you want to tell that you can just drag your mouse cursor here then the left side down here you can see let me print screen so let me go to the cursor here print the screen So yes here you can see you can use in uh, with this IP address with this port you'll be able to log into this you see 32769 and if I see it's a 32770 so this that still put that is allowed to log in so let it boot up for a few seconds yes would like to initial configurations no so that's log into that so guys you can see it's, it's it's like it's a matter of time it's like it takes only a few seconds to boot up so you don't have to do you don't have to wait for more time in case if you are practicing for your ccna or ccnp right so you can use this i will image and you know practice for the exams and for your cli so you can say enable yes guys that's all so I'm going to switch off the routers, stop all the nodes. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helpful for you in your future. And please uh, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.